Well, if you're going to apply seven, like they use seven six R for visible light, and then then if you look at other papers and stuff on refraction in the atmosphere, supposedly they'll use four thirds R if they're talking about uh, radar, right? Which allows it to extend to three hundred and fifty miles, right? For effectiveness on when they're doing scatter really scatter radar of, of storms and, and water and stuff, right? For for weather radar systems, they get a range three three four hundred miles, you know, ballpark. But they, they change the radius to four thirds R to justify the mathematics for the signals that they're interpreting. Is that really so you, Ruhifs? Hold on a second, Chris. Is that you, Ruhif? Oh. No. Hello. Yeah, yeah. No. Good to have you. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Hey, hey did you, you join yesterday? Through? He's still there. Good, good. Uh, did I? I think I did. Or well, night before. Probably not last night. I had a decent sleep, so not last night. No. Ah, right. So, yeah, because somebody uh, took your image and then sniped everyone. Oh, well, okay, not me. Good to mm. know. Yeah, um, I'm only going to be here for like five minutes because I'm going to bed. Um, 76R is not bullshit. I, I will do a video on it explaining how you get 76R. Oh, goody. Goody, yes. No, none of you guys will understand it because none of you guys can handle it. Yeah, we do. Sticks in the that. ground. Well done. Well, that's great news. That's great news. So you'll tell us how you get the 7, and you tell us how you get the 6, and you'll tell us how you get the R, right? That's no, that's not part of the video. Oh, so you just said you're going to make a video telling us how you get 76R. Is R not part of 76R? Yeah. No. Oh, it is, I assure you. 76 has an R value in it, and you're not going to tell us how you the got video, that bit? You're just going to ignore that bit, are you? Listen, the video will explain why we go straight to refracted hidden and ignore the geometric hidden. Sorry, will it explain 7 and 6 and R or not? It will explain the effective Earth radius and why it increases. So you'll be able to explain where you got R from? No, the video will not do that. I thought it was pretty clear, Nathan. You're fucking stupid, are you? Oh, right. Going to start calling me names and swear words. That was quick. Yeah, I'm trying to that was fast. Three minutes, so well, that was fun. fast. All I had to do was ask for R. Amazing, isn't it? Come on, kick me out and get to bed. I'm not kicking you out. I'm laughing at you. <laughs> You've just said well, you'll I, give I us a, you'll give us seven because... six R, and then when I ask, will you yeah. give us the R bit in that seven six R? You say no, <laughs> right? Okay. No, it will explain do the multiplier need, of the like, radius. Do you need like five minutes of humiliation just before going to bed? Does that make you sleep better? It gets me to sleep, but Owen, yes, it does. Fair enough. If you want to be a masochist, that's, that's fine. Yeah, like I don't expect any of you guys to get it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Get what? You're not going to explain R. You're just going to use it. No, I will explain the 7 over 6. Who cares? The R bit is what this debate is about. Yeah, I don't care if you guys care. I... Well, this is a flat earth debate. And you're saying, well, I'm just going to assume it's a, you know, it's got a radius and then apply 7, 6 and explain the 7, 6 bit. Forget the R bit, the yeah. thing the whole debate's yeah, exactly. about. That's not important, right, Rudy? It's just the crux if... of this debate. If there is an R, this is why we go straight to the refracted hidden. If it's there is an R, then prove the R, right? Don't just assume that you've got an R by saying if there is an R. That's begging the question. No, I don't think you know what begging the question is. Uh, Assuming your outcome. So saying if there's a radius, well, by saying that, Ruhif, you're automatically assuming there is a radius. That's why I'm no. asking you to prove yeah. the R bit, not arbitrarily yeah, just apply I, it and yeah, not justify the R bit. Not just the seven six bit, mate. The R bits included. Do you know what a hypothetical is? Oh, really? I don't care. We're not talking about hypothetical things. <laughs> We're talking about reality, Ruhif. Yeah. All right. So no R then. Well. <laughs> Thanks for that. Very useful. Oh, actually, no. I did want to talk to you guys. Sorry, I'll hang around for a bit. Um, the uh, turbines. What's the go there? I've already dealt with that. Do you want me to do it again while you're here? Yeah, I haven't, yeah, I haven't listened earlier. I was doing other shit. So. Okay, bear with me. Uh, screen share. My entire screen. Let me know, Wraith. I can see your screen. Yeah, hold on. So, basically, you, um, you were saying that um, because when, the, when we go into the side profile, we're not getting the 11 miles left to right. We're only getting two or three two miles and therefore we're only getting was it 12 inches or whatever yeah yeah something okay so i said that the main element of this picture over a mile or so is perspective because there's next to no curvature in a mile it's like eight inches right yeah basically yeah 
So what Chris did was um, he, he got Rant, uh, our, uh, Ranty's picture side by side and he plotted the turbines over the distance. And this is with the accumulated drop from 13 miles away and then zoomed in. And yep. you can see clearly that the center point of all of the turbines creates an arc going over the hump. However, we see a straight line going through there. So I if... see. Go on. Is your original question whether I can see curvature in that picture or whether that drop should translate to the side-on picture with the red line? Uh, we much. asked you, I asked you and got it tied down conclusively when I asked you, when I first showed you this three shows ago, I said, are we seeing what the math says we are seeing? Which is these turbines conforming me, to a curved... Why are you, why are you talking over me? I asked away? you the question and you answered it, Ruhif. Are these curving around the Earth? Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. They are on a globe. They are curving around the Earth. Yes. Right. Right. Well, you didn't ask me whether I saw it in the photo. That's what we're talking about, you absolute buffoon. Are these in this photo? Did you need the extra words while it was on screen and you were looking at it? No, you said, are these... Are these the as in the thing on screen? Yeah. And they're what on a Yeah. They You're saying I didn't know you were talking about the photograph. Are you having a laugh? No, you didn't ask me about the photograph. Okay, let's get a contract. So on screen, Ruhif, you've had this presented before, but in a slightly different format. We've got these wind turbines. And when you calculate these wind turbines, they are falling around the sphericity of the Earth in exactly the way that the curve calculator says they should. So, I'm going to ask sure. you, are these built on the curve of the Earth exactly as it would suggest they are based on the curve calculator? Yes. Yes. Say again? Yes. No, you didn't ask me about the photograph. You said... Are really? They what I will do yeah, then, Ruhif, is I will edit the out curve. the section with it on screen and me asking you and you replying three mm. times... Yes. 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 Say again. Yes. To my yes, question, on a globe, are these turbines curving, curving yeah. around the Earth while the photo was on screen? The following day, you said you couldn't tell the difference between whether it was perspective or curvature, even though you told mm. us simultaneously that you don't need to account for perspective, even though you don't know the difference. No, I said I couldn't tell whether that was perspective or curvature. You right. But you don't account for perspective. It can't be perspective because you don't account for it, right? It's not needed, is it, Ruhif? No, it's not. Oh, right. Well, if you can't tell the difference and it appears in the picture, then you absolutely must account for it, you idiot. No. Oh, right. I'll just ignore it. So the maths say that there's no perspective. So there's no perspective. It's just curvature. Right, Ruhif? Yes. Right, Ruhif? Yes. Right, Ruhif? Yes, it's curving around the sphere of the Earth. Right, okay, Ruhif. Uh Following day, I don't know what's it, what's perspective and what's not. Day after that, I didn't even think you were showing me a photograph. My God, you're digging yourself a big hole. Do I deny perspective, Nathan? Yeah, your calculator does. And you do when you apply the maths to any picture, Ruhif. Yes, you deny perspective. Ruhif, can I have your attention yes. a sec? Yep. Um, in, the, in the picture of the lamppost that's got ba basically no curve in it because it's a mile... Um, yeah, we, we see that tell. the main we see that the main feature is a straight line, and there's no accumulated curvature. Correct? Mm. Uh, yeah, yep, sure. But when we go to the picture that Ranty took, that's 13 miles or whatever it was, there is an accumulation of curve. Yet we still mm. get a straight line going through the hubs. Correct? Uh, pretty straight, but I mean they're obscured a little bit as well. Right. Sorry. Would you just say that again? Pretty straight or not straight? Oh, I... <laughs> Some of the turbines are blocking the hubs of the ones behind, right? So. Oh, right. Okay, three so days ago, good. I asked you if this was conforming to the curve of the Earth, and I got a yes three times. No, you said, are these turbines curving around the Earth? And I said, yes, we're on a globe. Right. Yeah. Right. Of course they are. So Brilliant. if these turbines are curving around the, cur the curve of the Earth, why do the center points of these like bend away from the straight line? But in the picture in real world, they go straight, yeah. so, straight as a... And this is with the accumulated curve. Yeah, that Chris Monk photo on the left does not look right. 
That does not look like a lemon bottle. It's, it's you know not why? a photograph. Sorry, because just for the audience's benefit. Because it's on the sorry, globe. And that's just just for the audience's benefit. No. That's just, why it hold on, hold on. Sorry, there's obviously Ruhik has just demonstrated a problem that people obviously have in cognition. The picture on the left look at is the a model. Look at the in Hold the on, Ruhif. I just need to get this clear because it's clear that you didn't understand because you called it a photograph. So the picture on the well, left is not up, a photograph. It's just a model. Just a model, Ruhif. Okay? The picture on the right, that's the real world. That's a photograph. The picture on the left, that's mm. a model. Yeah, uh, really. If the if the gaps between all the posts are not, if you're not happy with them, all it means is he, he's got to move the observer over a little tiny bit. But that isn't going to change the, the slope effect, the gradient that we see because of the curve. And he is on the panel now. If you'd like him to change the location of the observer to make these close up the gap a little bit, I'm it sure... Does, it doesn't it. matter because you can put a thousand fence posts on there. It's still going to fall. Rue has basically service. just admitted. He said it didn't look right. And it is. He's correct. It doesn't look right because that is rendered as if the Earth were a globe, which is, is not, which it is not. Yeah, so you didn't ask me whether I saw it in the photo. That's what we're talking about, you absolute buffoon. Are these in this photo? Did you need the extra words while it was on screen and you were looking at it? Okay, let's go back on track. So on screen, Ruhif, you've had this presented before, but in a slightly different format. We've got these wind turbines. Are these built on the curve of the Earth exactly as it would suggest they are based on the curve calculator? Yes. 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 Say again? Yeah. Oh, you didn't ask me whether I saw it in the photo. 